Alexandria's waterways are an integral part of our community. They contribute to a high quality of life for our residents and serve as an important draw for tourists. But while they're beautiful to look at, they can be unhealthy to swim or fish in. There are many different reasons for that, including stormwater runoff, pet waste, septic systems, and pollutants from streets and alleys, and our community's combined sewer system. That's why we've been doing something about it. 95% of Alexandria is served by separate pipes for stormwater and sewage. And all this sewage flows to treatment plants that clean the water before it goes back into local rivers and streams. Our community has already invested hundreds of millions of dollars to ensure that we have one of the most modern and efficient treatment systems in the region. But in the oldest historic part of Alexandria, 5% of the city remains served by the original combined sewer system dating back to the 1800s. In a combined sewer system, both sewage and stormwater flow through the same pipes to the treatment plant. The problem is that almost every time it rains, the pipes can't handle the volume and a mixture of stormwater and sewage overflows into local waterways. This is allowed under state permits and federal law, but we're still working to change it. And more than 800 communities across the country are working to address similar issues. The overflows occur at four combined sewer outfalls, or CSOs. The first is located at the end of Pendleton Street at Orinoco Bay. The second is located at the end of Royal Street at Hunting Creek. And the third and fourth are along Duke Street at Hoofswan. All of our waterways lead to the Potomac River and eventually to the Chesapeake Bay. And while Alexandria's combined sewer system is only accountable for about 2% of the bacteria in our waterways, that's still 2% too much. For more than a decade, the city has required sewer separation as part of development and redevelopment projects in Old Town. As a result, the private sector has contributed tens of millions of dollars. The city has made extensive structural improvements to the outfalls and taken other proactive steps to address this issue. Our remediation plan includes the store and treat strategy being pursued by hundreds of other cities with combined sewer systems because it's less disruptive to neighbors and more cost effective than other strategies. This involves building massive underground tanks and tunnels, some as big as a football field. They'll store the excess volume of stormwater and sewage when it rains. After the rain ends, the system will pump the storage tanks and tunnels back to the treatment plant. Overflows will only occur a few times a year during the heaviest of rains. We're moving as quickly as we can to plan, design, and construct these tanks and tunnels. Each outfall requires different complex engineering solutions, and the work for all four outfalls must be coordinated simultaneously while adhering to federal and state regulations. Once construction begins, the work will require the removal of tens of thousands of truckloads of dirt and many months of pile driving. These are also very expensive projects, costing about $400 million over 10 years. That money will come from significant increases in the sewer-related fees paid for by residents, businesses, and nonprofits. Because this is such a large effort with significant financial and construction impacts, we're especially committed to involving the community in our progress and plans. We'll also do our best to mitigate the inconvenience of this work as much as possible. There's a lot to do in a short period of time, but we're moving forward to promote clean waterways for generations to come.